Hello, Tauruses. So we're going to see what the cards want to say, whatever story comes out here. As always, if you guys want a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box, right below this video. Any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below. Okay, so let's see what the story is right now. We've got X, the past, codependency and addiction. Sorry, just bear with my camera. It takes a minute to adjust. Cold, guarded, and distrusting. Waiting, hoping, praying. Reconciliation, clubs, parties, and social life. I feel like you might run into this person somewhere, like at like a club or like through mutual friends. I feel like this person could be trying to get info on you through your friends as well. Yeah, it's like they're trying to manifest you. We have magic intention, power, manifestation. Hidden truth. I almost feel like for some of you, this person might actually be playing hard to get with you, which is really stupid, but I almost feel like, like they're like addicted to you. There's like this passion here, you know, codependency addiction, but they're coming off as cold and guarded and distrusting. But the truth is that they're actually waiting and hoping and praying that this, you know, you guys have reconciliation, that you guys come back to each other. I feel like maybe, I want to say that either you rejected them or you might have given them an ultimatum. I feel like maybe they just took too long to make a decision. Maybe they were trying to choose between you and someone else. Or they just had a lot on their plate at the time. And they just wouldn't really like give you a straight answer on you know what they were going to do. They, they couldn't figure their life out. And I feel like they have a lot of pride. I feel like they, you know, later down the road, they, they decided they did want you. But it was kind of late at that point. I feel like maybe you guys, you know, weren't talking at that point. Or if you were, it was like kept at a bare minimum. It just feels like this person has a lot of feelings for you, but they're too prideful to admit it. I feel like... Yeah, you know, like, I feel like they think, like, they're either try they either think that you're cold and guarded, or maybe they also feel like, like, they're trying, like, they're kind of trying to, um, save face, I guess. Like, maybe you kind of told them, like, hey, you better, like, you might have given them an ultimatum, and they might have thought you were bluffing. You might have said, you know, get it, get in or get out. I'm not doing this anymore with you. Make your choice. And they chose wrong, and now they realize it, but they don't want to come crawling back to you. That's embarrassing for them. So I feel like they're just kind of trying to manifest you behind the scenes. They're just waiting and hoping and praying for this reconciliation. Um, be mindful of this. And again, you know, it's either your energy group or it isn't. So don't try to take it if it doesn't resonate. But if this is your story, you know, there is something to be mindful of here is that they're trying to manifest you back and they could be doing witchcraft. The other thing is, I feel like they might be asking, I'm getting a really strong energy that they're asking mutual friends about you, or they're trying to keep tabs on you. They're trying to find out if you're with anybody. They're trying to find out if you have feelings for them still. They're trying to find out just any information that they can get off you. I think that they're going back and reading your old messages. You know, you might've sent them like a long message, like an ultimatum a while, a while back. And I feel like they're like rereading re that now for some reason, like they're trying to I don't know if they're trying to find a hidden meaning in it or what, but it just feels like they're really trying to dig up, not, not dig up dirt, but it's like they're trying to get information on you. Um, it's like they want this reconciliation, but they're too prideful to admit. I really do feel like you gave them an ultimatum or I feel like you said something or something happened between you. Like maybe you just rejected them or you blocked them or you... Um, you know, didn't pursue them or you just moved on because they were taking too long and now they want to come back around, but they know that they look stupid messaging you three, four months, maybe even a year, however long later, being like, oh, hey, do you still want to go on that date? Uh, sorry, I was gone for a while. You know, they might have had a third party situation that they were in that they didn't tell you about. And I feel like that just crashed and burned. And now they're like, oh, they should have given attention to you. They should have given, you know, they shouldn't have gotten caught up in that familiar energy. But it's kind of like too little too late. Um, 
I feel like if there's like events or like if you work at clubs or parties, if you're like a bartender or like maybe you go certain places, like certain like, like, you know, something with like your friends or like maybe certain places that you go to, like certain like club nights or um, like a certain event that they you talked about going to in the past that they know you're going to be mindful. They might end up popping up like they want to see you. So they're trying to find a way to um, talk to you face to face and kind of play it off like, oh, I didn't I didn't know you'd be here. I thought I mean, I know you mentioned you were coming, but I didn't know if you were, you know, COVID's been crazy. I didn't know you were actually still coming to this like, you know, or, or they're going to try to, you know, pretend like they're just going to try to play it off. But it's like they want to talk to you in person. They want to read your energy in person. They want to see if they still have an opening with you. It's like they're trying to manifest you back, but they're doing it in the wrong ways. And they're going about it in a really sneaky way, going behind the scenes. You know, this truth is coming out here. I don't know if I would give this another chance. This person just... I mean, yeah, I think they have some love for you here, but I just feel like... They're so immature. You know, it's like they should really just own it. Like, yeah, it might be embarrassing, but it, it just feels like they should really just risk the rejection for you. You know, it's like they chose wrong, but I just, I wish this person would just admit that. You know what I mean? Like, just message you and just be like, hey, you know, I messed up. Can we, can we start over? Can we try again? Where are you at? But it just feels like this person has a lot of pride. Um, feels like this person, it feels like their communication style as well is incredibly immature. Like, I don't know if they, I don't know if they have the emotional depth and the intelligence and the maturity to kind of, to have that kind of relationship that you're looking for. What else? Yeah, chase or chasey power struggle. It's like, it doesn't need to be a power struggle, but they're making it. They're making it one, you know, because I feel like if you did give them an ultimatum, it was justified. You had every reason to give them an ultimatum because they were back and forth between, you know, you and another person or you and another situation, some kind of third party energy there. And so I really feel like that was justified. Let me put these up here a little bit so you can see them. Sorry, it's a mess. <laughs> There we go. It's better. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Power struggle. Chaser, chasey. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. Hmm. Spying. Yeah. It's like they need to come forward, but instead they're just spying. It's like they're putting, it's really weird because it's like they're putting so much effort into you. They're putting a lot of energy into you. Now this could be like stalking your social media. If you're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it's like they're they're checking out your pages. If you post, if you're a musician, you post new music, they're listening to all your new songs. They want to see, it's like they're looking for hidden meaning in something. That's coming through really strongly, that they're looking for hidden meaning in something. So that's almost why I'm drawn to say maybe some of you are musicians or you're, you're poets or you're doing something like, you're posting something where they're trying to see if there's hidden meaning in there. They're trying to find out if you still have feelings for them. I feel like, or they're like asking friends about you. It's like they're putting a lot of effort and energy into you, but they're just doing it in the wrong ways. It's like, yeah, they're moving towards you and they know that they want to choose you, but they're they're just so immature that I don't know if you really want to do that. <laughs> yeah, they're trying to spy too to see if you have a new love coming in. And you might actually have a new love coming in. And that, you know, there's that too. Yeah, it's like you're you're a mystery you're a mystery to them. You're confusing. It's confusing them because there's only so much that they can find on social media. And they're feeling isolated and alone and like, damn, like they made the wrong choice. They chose a backstabber over you and they want it they want open, honest communication with you, but it's like they just it's like they're so prideful. They don't want to risk that rejection. Cause I really feel like maybe you guys, um, Maybe they thought you were bluffing. You know, it might have been, it's just like one of those prideful things. Like maybe you guys got in an argument or something and you were like, you know, for some, I feel like you just faded away. Like for some of you, and I don't know, my ear is ringing so much right now as I said that. 
for some, I feel like you just kind of faded away. Like you just were just kind of done. Like you didn't have to say anything. You were just kind of like, eh, like you kind of just started getting over it. You're like, I'm not doing this anymore. This person's too flaky. No thanks. For others, I feel like there was like actually an ultimatum or like an argument or something that took place where you got to that point where you said, you know, are you, are we doing this? Or are we not doing this? Do you want me or you want her? Do you want, are you afraid of love or do you want to tr take a chance on me? I'm scared too, but what are we doing here? And I feel like this person just kind of thought you're bluffing. I feel like they, I feel like you said something like you're like, no, trust me. I'm not coming back. If you, if you choose her or you choose this or whatever, I'm not coming back. You're not getting this back. I feel like this person just, they didn't believe you. And so they, they know they look like an idiot crawling back to you after that. You know, they, they know, they know they messed up. But I honestly, I hate to say it because it's like you do have a chance with this person if you want this. But I, I don't think they're going to own this. I, I don't, I personally do not think I would want this. I think I would want the new love instead if I were you. Because, yeah, this person has legit feelings for you. They are spying. They are trying to dig dig up dirt on you. They are trying to find out about you. They are trying to find out if you're with anybody. They're they're jealous if you are. They're they're watching you. They're, you know, they're, they're in your energy field for sure. Um, probably trying to casually ask friends about you, like, you know, they, like they want to run into you and they want to play it off though, as if they didn't mean to, like they want to, they, they want that opening so they can kind of maybe have like a, make small talk or something, you know, I'm seeing an event for somebody specific. I'm seeing an event outdoors with beer. It's like those expensive, like the, you know, like those red plastic cups where you pay like $10 for a fucking beer in a plastic cup. I'm seeing an event like that for somebody. I don't know who that's for. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you have a chance with this person. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't, I, it wouldn't be for me. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's, it's your life. Personally, I would not want this back. This person just has, is too immature. Just, just way too immature. Because I just don't feel them owning this. Like, I feel like their plan is to try to bump into you somewhere or find out about you and kind of just make small talk and work their way back up to it and, like, try to get you to say it first, get you to ask them out or get you to to admit you still have feelings for them or get you to – they want you to do, make the first move and to, to give them that opening. And I just – I'm getting, like, a baseball game for somebody. I don't know what that's about, but that's for someone specific. But – um. But I honestly, I don't even know if they're going to apologize. Like, they might give you, like, a half-ass apology, but it's, like, they don't want to admit how wrong they were. And that's an issue. Like, I wouldn't want someone that's that immature, you know? Let's see what else. Anger, miscommunication, sadness, truth and clarity, honeymoon, adventure, vacation. They might try to play it off like, oh, you just misunderstood me or this or that when, you know, you knew that there was more going on in that. They do want a new start with you. Yeah, spying on your social media. Dreams, visions, telepathy, emotional. Yeah, I feel like you can feel their energy. You know that there's emotion there. You know, they do feel at home with you. They do feel that connection. But again, I just don't, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, just too immature. Tell me about this. Tell me something about this new love. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they want you to let go of this first before they can show me new love. But let's see if they will. New love. Overthinking, overanalyzing, planning their approach. Pause, reflection, rest. Fast-moving energy, turn of events. I think this does need to be cleared up. I almost feel like they're trying to like lay, for some of you, I almost feel like they're trying to like lay claim on you and make people think that you're taken by them when you're not. Like if you guys have mutual friends, I almost feel like they're trying to like make people think that you guys still have a thing when you, you don't feel like you do, you know? So I would be kind of mindful of that, that this person might be, it's like they're jealous. I kind of feel like they might be trying to 
sabotage anyone new that might want to come in, you know? For those of you that are in some kind of friend circle. But anyway, I hope that makes sense. Um, like I said, it's your choice. I personally would want the new love instead because this person just, even though they have love for you, they just seem way too immature to me. But um, but yeah, that's that's the story. And if you guys want a private reading, just email me. It's dragonenchantress at AOL.com. That email is right below in the description box below this video. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and any donations are appreciated. My donation links are also below in my description box. Thank you guys for watching.